Star Wars hasn't been doing too hot as of late. Oh it's no mystery no. that ever since Disney's acquisition of Lucasfilm and Star Wars as a whole, whether you be talking about the sequel trilogy, someone dropping the ball on huge shows and opportunities like Kenobi oh no. or Mandalorian's latest season, Ooh. it's sad to say that Star Wars is definitely hit or miss right now. But that fact actually makes me super excited to say that the games have definitely been hitting. Shortly after, most people are probably getting around to finishing Star Wars Jedi Survivor, which is a beautiful, amazing game. The trailer was just released for the next brand new Star Wars single player first open world game and it actually looks really good so today we're gonna be taking a look I'm super excited be sure to leave a like on this video right now it actually helps out a ton and let's tune in okay brand new Star Wars single player story game the first open world game in Star Wars history work in progress does not represent final quality so the reason I wanted to take a look at the 10 minute gameplay trailer is because the actual trailer actually didn't deliver as well as I think this did. Oh, There's no. a sequence at the end that looked much better than the actual trailer. Okay, so we can see here that instead of having a typical droid for our main character, it seems we're going to be having this creature. Okay, so yeah, we got a instantly first look at stealth, a takedown there. She just punched him. In. We can send the creature to attack, distract, or interact with things. Adding to the stealth. Nice one. Oh. But this reminds me already a lot of Jedi Survivor. Probably, I'm not sure, but I, I assume this is from a different developer. Uh, I was oh, just she leaving. got caught. Oh! Oh! Okay, okay. Wait, was there, a, was there a prompt for that, or you could just do that? Okay, I'm already hyped. Yo. How long have we been wanting like a single player Star Wars game with just a blast? Oh, okay, you could change modes for the blaster too. Oh, obviously playing games like Star Wars Battlefront, um, even Jedi Outcast, like blasters have been a huge part of Star Wars gameplay and combat for a very long time. And there's a lot of potential there because a blaster is not a gun. There's a there's a lot of key differences between like a Call of Duty type gun and out. a blaster from Star Wars that makes it really interesting and fun and different. And this looks really good. Dick Farrick. Okay, you, you can tell that the person that's playing isn't trying to show too much here. This world already looks huge. I think that went pretty well, right? Woo! Okay, we got a speeder bike getaway. Oh, okay. We're gonna have bike chases and, and everything. This is giving me Uncharted vibes. Hang on. Woo. It seems like the game is running pretty well too. Woo. Yo. So we got slow motions, kind of like Red Dead Redemption. Obviously, this character shouldn't be force sensitive at all. This is going to be just a really good shooter. Reminiscent of uh, Han Solo. I I'm sure there's a lot of people that have been waiting for something like this for a really long time. There's John's hope. We made it, Nick. Okay. Traversing the world with the speeder bike definitely seems like a lot of fun. I wonder how open this world is going to be. Is it like a Zelda? You see it, you can go to it, or is it more so just a lot of open areas? Game looks really good. Really high quality. I, I'd be surprised to see a lot of different venues look as high quality as this one that we're looking at here. ND5 droid. Okay. Oh, he's on our side. Okay. No but your droid. What? Okay, we got so we got one of Boz's species right there. I wonder like what type of enemies we're gonna be facing. Round two and I like, are we gonna have bounty hunters like in Jedi Survivor? Is that gonna be more so of our Jesus. boss fights? Obviously, she's right. not taking on any Jedi. She's fresh, but she's good. Who's this? Someone Just from the friend. Empire here. I don't know how I feel about her character design. Job was more complicated than you said. Hopefully, we can change that hairstyle because it's not really rocking with me. Hey, on toys. The official trailer that released was completely CGI. I didn't really like the way it was animated. 
it kind of made everyone and everything look a little weird to me but uh the actual gameplay trailer that we're getting to see here Wait. looks a lot better we haven't met don't really know many of you. Racism in Star Wars. Classism is so prevalent in Star Wars. Okay, so we're gonna have attacks just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Quick draw. Oh, that blaster looks beautiful. You won't make a Dr. Shah alive. Maybe. Okay, so they're gonna allow us to select interact with cutscenes and select kind of what we want to do in certain situations and scenarios. That's always a good thing. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, we're wanting. Oh, we're want Oh. Oh, that's fine. I told you not to trust her. We're heading at it. Bro, this game looks really good. The female lead role kind of gives me like Tomb Raider vibes. I'm, I'm actually super excited about that. Hopefully she's a really good character because we have Cal. We love Cal. Cal is so, he, he meshes so well. Like he is Star Wars. He feels like a true Star Wars character. And you know, that could be hard for them to do sometimes. We've seen with Rey, but you know, if they have a plan for this character's story, definitely super excited. No way. Can we boost transition out into the into space with full gameplay control? No fuck, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way we can literally fly out into space. Yo, nothing on the sensors. Yet. That was so seamless. Ooh. Anybody on the sensors now? Fighter combat? No. No way. Okay, they knew they had to give us something more. If there's no Jedi, there's no Jedi, there's no sabers. They knew they had to give us something like this. Okay, it doesn't look too advanced, but it definitely looks good. My favorite fighter combat in Star Wars games will have to be will have to go to games like Rogue Squadron 3. Um even Battlefront 2's fighter combat was really good, but this looks pretty Hyperspace? Yo! Oh, we have full control. This is cool. I, I have goosebumps. Like, I wonder how many world areas, like, where are the walls gonna be? You know? Like, can I, I, no way, we can't fly over to that planet, right? Okay, okay, they're not gonna show us. Okay, okay. No way, right? But yeah, fighter combat, like, Rose Squadron 3, but they even released a full-on fighter but they even released a full-on fighter game that i have and i, I played once and never touched again because it was kind of boring <laughs> should have got the vr version but i didn't oh wow yes okay this is the sequence i'll talk <laughs> what draw scenarios I'm sure we're gonna get like an old western scene. Yo, ATST fights? How? Is this? That area looks similar. Oh my god, so many locales. The Pike Syndicate seems to be the main threat. We get to invade the Empire? Yo. So cool. The, oh, the theme in the background coming 2024. I'm so pumped. Finally, yeah, that's gonna be pretty much all I'm really gonna talk about with this game uh, I don't really want to do a deep dive into every little detail I wasn't really going to even make this video But I thought you know since it's hot it's fresh and it looks good I would talk a little bit about it, but yeah definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of this game first ever open world Star Wars game first ever uh, open world single-player story game uh, action shooter blaster game uh, kind of like Jedi Outcast, but even that had sabers. I assume there'd be no sabers in this game. Like, what do you guys think is going to come from this game? It, it looks really high quality. It looks like they put the time and the work in for it to run well, look well, play well. That's all that matters. Yeah, leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed. That actually helps out the videos a lot. Comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new. That's going to be it for me. 